In this lecture, we're going to discuss the differences between boiling and evaporation. Now, boiling and evaporation are pretty much the same, uh, the similar phenomena where a liquid state changes into gaseous state. Uh, liquid particles which can move around uh, uh, and slip and slide past each other, but they have strong intermolecular forces. They become energetic and they change into gaseous state where particles are more have more energy and they are able to move freely in all directions. So, so in both cases, in boiling and evaporation, a liquid changes into gas. Now, there are, there are a few differences between boiling and evaporation. One is, uh, the first one is that boiling uh, occurs throughout the liquid. So if, you, if you've seen uh, water boiling, then you would have noticed that uh, the entire uh, container containing water is boiling simultaneously. So here is an example of a container that's uh, boiling. Uh, you can see the heat source that's providing and all the water molecules, this is liquid water, so the, all the liquid particles are trying to change into gaseous state simultaneously. So you can see bubbles of gas, mol uh, gas uh, water vapors in this case are forming throughout the liquid. So this is what, what is happening when boiling is occur occurring. Similarly, you can see evaporation in this uh, image over here. Uh, there's a lake shown and evaporation is only occurring at the surface. You don't see uh, gas molecules forming everywhere. It's only the surface molecules. Uh, for example, in this image, the particles at the surface, they are changing into gaseous state and you can see steam forming over here. Water vapors, you can clearly see, observe the water vapors, but, but uh, the change in state is not occurring throughout the liquid, only at the surface. Now moving to the second difference between boiling and evaporation, uh, that difference is that boiling occurs at a very specific temperature and pressure. For example, uh, water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. So there's a specific temperature at which boiling occurs uh, it, and it also needs a specific uh, heat source. For example, you can see this image over here. Without this heat source, uh, that's uh, it's, an, it's, a, it's a burner at the bottom of the, of the container. Without this heat source, uh, this boiling uh, is not possible, so it needs a specific heat source. Evaporation, on the other hand, could occur at any temperature or pressure. So, uh, for example, if you see this image of the lake, uh, evaporation would be occurring at night as well. It would also be occurring at, in the day as well. So there's no specific temperature needed. And uh, even without a very specific heat source, evaporation could occur. The particles could collide and bump into each other and they could gain energy, enough energy from each other without any external heat source. Uh, although a lot of times an external heat source is present, for example, there might be sunlight present, which would be providing uh, particles on the surface with energy. So, but the, but the presence of an external heat source is not necessary. The last two differences between evaporation and boiling is the uh, one is that evaporation is a very slow process, it's a gradual process. So if you throw water on the floor, uh, it's going to take some time for the water to evaporate. On the other hand, if you take the same water and put it on a stove in a container and you try to boil it, it's going to happen very, very fast. So boiling is a fast and violent process, whereas evaporation is a, is a, is a very gradual and slow process. And the last point is that surface area increases the rate of evaporation. So if there's if there's more surface here, remember evaporation, when evaporation is occurring, uh, uh, only the surface particles are changing into gaseous state. So so the bigger the surface area, the faster the evaporation. So if you if you throw water on the floor, the surface area of the water on the floor increases and the evaporation is fast. But if you keep the same water in a glass, uh, the surface area is not that much. So so evaporation is slower. So surface area or the amount of surface that is exposed or the amount of particles that would escape through the surface, the bigger the surface, the faster would be the rate of evaporation. Meanwhile, uh, surface area has no effect on the boiling speed or the rate of boiling. Uh, surface area is not a factor when you're trying to boil a substance.